it truly is a very bizarre world that we are living in now. It's very, very crazy what has manifested. So, people hear from people like David Keith. David Keith, Mr. Geoengineer at Harvard. He says, oh, well, we're going to have to geoengineer. We're going to start those projects in 2018 because we've got to save the planet from climate change. That was announced in 2017 that they were going to begin geoengineering, those geoengineering projects. And we all know that they have been going on for actually decades, only increasing over the recent years, dumping chemicals and heavy metals and yeah, bacteria and, well, I'm going to read some of the ingredients, but in 2012, The Guardian, mainstream media, published an article about the geoengineering projects that were currently being conducted around the world. And yet, when you try to, oh, tell people, hey, the geoengineering is going on. Now, you don't necessarily have to look at mainstream media, The Guardian, that posted that article in 2012, you just need to really look up and notice, okay, they're spraying something, it lingers, oh, it's turning the sky kind of crazy looking. Well, if they can't do that, and they're so addicted to mainstream media, then you try to point these articles out, and you can't. What is going on with our world? What are they spraying? What are they spraying? These crazy geoengineers. All sorts of very toxic chemicals and heavy metals and, hey, even desiccated human red blood cells. This is the list of what has been found in tests Aluminum oxide particles, arsenic, barium salts, uh, calcium, I'm not going to read all of them, silver, radioactive cesium, really? Yellow fungal, mycotoxins, unidentified bacteria, uranium, nickel, lead, mercury, methyl aluminum, mold spores, mycoplasma, Nano-aluminum coated fiberglass, polymer fibers, sharp titanium shards, wow, ethylene dibromide. Hmm, well, we have an awful lot of people who are sick and they having a whole range of symptoms. Chemtrail syndrome, a global pandemic of epic proportions. So the symptoms related to geoengineering or solar radiation management, or chemtrails, headache, brain fog, persistent cough, scratchy throat, congestion in chest or sinuses, fatigue, low energy, compromised immunity, disorientation, difficulty paying attention and concentrating, sinusitis, skin discomfort, irri irritation, joint pain, muscle pain, asthmatic, breathing difficulties, dizziness, insomnia, disturbed sleep, memory loss, eye problems, blurred or fuzzy vision, nausea, liver problems, gallbladder dysfunction. Wow, the list is long. Tinnitus, neck pain, sore throat, allergy symptoms, hay fever out of season, flu-like symptoms, susceptibility to colds, general weakness, anxiety, lightheaded or faint, depression, coughing up phlegm, sneezing, shortness of breath, vertigo, anger, rage, frustration issues, and Morgellons disease. So it is, is, it, is it truly a wonder that Americans have a shorter life expectancy and worse health problems than people in other high-income countries. Yes, Americans lead shorter and less healthy lives than people in other high-income countries. But we're number one, aren't we? Oh, we're number one. Come on. We have the best here. 
in the United States. All right, this sky that you're looking at is a normal sky now. This is in Anderson, South Carolina. What is dripping down? That's not rain. Is that black carbon dust dripping down from the clouds? Is that black carbon wrapped around white clouds? These are normal skies, normal clouds. You have black crap just sitting in the sky, black coming out of clouds. They do use black carbon dust to modify the weather. The problem is, is that the black carbon dust does, well, it falls down and we breathe it in. But the bizarre colors that I have been seeing recently and the bizarre, well, it looks like clouds are perhaps hit with frequencies and chemtrails hit with frequencies to release black crap that we are breathing. Look at that. That came off of that chemtrail. And as you can see, if you pay attention, if you see this in your sky and pay attention, you will see that black stuff suddenly lift off of clouds or begin to wrap around clouds and then it expands into the atmosphere. So we've got pink here, we've got black here, we've got a yellowish color here. Yeah, we've got the spraying of chemtrails at night. There, there was a huge thick white band in the sky right below the moon. And as you can see, all of the chemtrails. It goes on constantly. All of this black black carbon dust. Many people say coal ash. I believe it's black carbon dust. I've posted videos on numerous uh, papers that written up by researchers, scientists, black carbon dust to be used to heat up the atmosphere, to be used to modify the weather. And that we have seen in our skies for many, many, many years. What is happening, I'd say in the last week, what I've been noticing is very different. This is not black and this is not gray. That is brown. Now I don't know what ingredients they need to produce brown stuff. But we are breathing this in. You like that? I don't know. Is that a cloud on fire? You have white on the left, you've got brown on the, on the right, and you've got it burning up in the middle. Well, this brown stuff, it just continually expanded. They can use the microwave frequencies to expand, spread out all of this stuff. You see the frequencies in the clouds, the ripples right there. And you see clouds. If you do pay attention to the clouds in your area, you will see they don't move. They disappear. They begin to uh, evaporate but they release something that looks gaseous. This was a bright red or orange sun. A very bizarre color. The sun very often is white. 
but look at all of what is in our atmosphere. This is the stuff that we are breathing in. So is it a surprise that Americans are less healthy than any other country, those high income countries? That was a white sun that we had. Look at these clouds that begin to unravel this gray black stuff. And these days where you have these clouds and above the clouds it's blue, but below the clouds, I don't even, I can't even really describe it. It's not a cloud, it's not fog that you see. It's, well, it turns color. This was a pinkish, brownish color. And of course, you just look to the left and you see, oh, all right, so we have, you know, somewhat of a blue sky, but what is this? What is this stuff that also expanded? And it got really windy suddenly. And you see all those dots? That is stuff that flew onto the lens <coughs> of my camera. I had to stop because I am suddenly, I have these dry coughing fits lately. But yes, I don't know what that stuff is on the lens of my camera, but it flew into it. And you see, it's, we're developing more on the lens. Well, that stuff, whatever it is that you are looking at, by the time I got home, it felt like I had a very thick paste on my skin, on my face. It just continually it, it got bigger and bigger. It stretched out. The cloud, the white clouds, they were not moving, but they were beginning to release a lot of what looked like a, I don't know, it almost looked like a, a bluish gray stuff, but it, it began to turn that pinkish brown color. This is what we are breathing, guys. And, and look, you know, I, I've gotten comments from people who claim that this isn't killing people off. It's, they're doing this for other reasons. They're doing it for numerous reasons. Look at those clouds and look at all of that stuff that has been emitted, emitted from the cloud. All right, well, people are leaving comments. People aren't dying from this. They're not, uh, really, really. There are many subscribers who I've talked to. I have read comments from subscribers and I have corresponded with subscribers who feel like they're dying every single day. Can I relate to that? Absolutely. Do I feel like I'm going down? Absolutely. You know, I'm not going to pretend that I'm absolutely fine. I am not. It's affecting my brain. It's affecting my health. When you are overloaded with some toxic Substance is 24-7. It does take its toll. So, a few days after that pinkish brown stuff, we get this brown stuff that also continually expanded. I don't know what this is. Look at that. So I guess an awful lot of people just don't see this. But look at what we're breathing. Look at what we're breathing. And that's, you just saw the pulsating frequency. When the camera goes out of focus and comes right back into focus, these pulsating frequencies are incredibly dangerous to life itself. 
to all species, the trees, the plants, everything, but we too. I mean, these pulsating frequencies are doing a number on every cell in our body. So as they pulsate these microwave frequencies, that having an effect on us, we're breathing in all of this toxic air And it's not only that we're breathing it in, you know, that thick paste that I feel on my skin very often. Well, our skin, well, think of it as a breathing organism. It penetrates our skin. And you very often have these things that just start to look like they're aflame. That's another pulsating frequency, pulsating frequencies. Well, the pulsating frequencies are not just coming from the Gwen Towers and the, and the cell phone towers, but they're coming from all Wi-Fi, all of your gadgets, your smart meters, your Wi-Fi router. My God, this is a nightmare that we are living. And then I get people who go, ah, oh, just relax. They say, just relax. It's fine. God, God's in control. All right? Don't worry. Don't worry. God's in control. Really? Is God doing this then? Oh, yeah, because it's prophesied in the Bible. And the Bible says, look to the sky. Do you think that maybe these elite, crazy, psychopathic nut jobs might be using the Bible, you know, to get <clears throat> the very many Christians, especially in the United States, to believe that, oh, it's all prophesied, so I can sit back and just wait to go to heaven. I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to feel anything for people who are suffering the consequences, like this boy and his father there. You know, I see these people and hardly, no one notices father and son out, working out, this seven-month-old puppy and these kids walking around and, hey, everything's fine. Nothing unusual here. Well, these children, they're growing up with this. They think this is the sky. They think that this is normal. And this is what the adults are leaving them. Look at how toxic that looks. Look at this. And it's not just, hey, we get this like maybe once a week or, no. This is our normal sky in Anderson, South Carolina. This is what we have now. This is normal. Pulsating frequency right there. You may not feel it as it's pulsing, but your every cell feels that pulse. It's ruining your health. It's destroying your immune system. <clears throat> it's, uh, my God, guys. Oof. It's bad. It's bad, and I don't know what to do anymore, because clearly we're not getting through to an awful lot of people uh, that we need to get through to. They're just looking at this and going, hey, no problem, no problem. Well, we never lived this before. We did not grow up with these skies. This is not normal. And then you'll hear from people who will say, well, that's all the pollution that's why so many are concerned about climate change, because, you know, all the pollution. It's the CO2. It's the black carbon that is uh, from soot. It's all in the atmosphere, guys. Really. You won't look a little further to realize that there that it's not climate change.
and it's not global warming. This is the result of increasing geoengineering projects around the world that, well, has manifested an incredibly toxic world. And the permanence of this world is heartbreaking.